Hi everybody, this is Mark from Lightning WP, and I'm going to show you how to use the plugin. Now, I already have the plugin installed. You do it just like you would any other WordPress plugin by uploading it through the plugins and then activating it. Once it's activated, you go under Settings and click Lightning WP. If this is the first time you've run the program, it will ask you for a keygen. Uh, that should be emailed to you. Just paste that in there and you'll be loaded to the admin screen of Lightning WP, which you see here. So let me walk you through the different options that you can choose from and what they do. The first thing is it changes the permalink setting so that instead of a random string, it actually shows the name of the post or the name of the page. This is the optimal setting for search engine optimization. So clicking this will change the, the permalinks. You can also delete all of the existing com content. WordPress has, uh, you know, has a default page, it has a default uh, post. If you, for some reason, inherit a WordPress that has a bunch of comments, checking this will delete all of that before Lightning WP installs other things on top of it. This here removes the default widgets. If you don't want any widget showing in your theme and you don't want to add any widgets, just click that. After this, you can choose different pages to add. This creates an about page that already has the content for you. I will often click this, run it, and then I'll go through and add a couple tweaks to the about page just to deliver unique content. This builds a privacy policy, this is a contact page with a contact form, uh, terms of use, earnings disclaimer, so that you comply with governmental regulations. This is for Amazon affiliates. Uh, this is FT FTC affiliate disclosure, copyright page, anti-spam page, and medical disclaimer. All of these pages are just the standard pages you expect on a website. It just helps your page, helps your website seem more legit. After that, you can choose different plugins to install and activate. This uh, installs the plug when you check this, it installs the plugin and also activates it, making it live. So here are the different choices: we have all-in-one SEO, WordPress SEO, Google XML sitemap, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. One thing I would say is if you choose Spider Spanker, it won't activate Spider Spanker by default because oftentimes your hosting company can't host Spider Spanker. And I found that it was crashing WordPress if you had to automatically activate. So here are the different plugins to choose from. After this, you can create your own post. So if you, for example, type in SEO or, you know, um, Plumbers Houston, it will automatically build a post for that. You can also have it build a page instead of a post. And if you select this object, it will automatically add a video to the post. So one thing I often do is I'll just you know type in my niche that I'm operating in, keep this a post, and then I'll have it add a YouTube video. It just adds another, it's a quick way to add a, a video post. So let me actually kind of show you how I run this. So I always do permalinks. I always have a delete default content. I will sometimes remove the widgets lately, I haven't been. I always do an about, always do a private policy, a contact, and then I usually do all of these plugins, except for all-in-one SEO because I use Yoast. And then I'll do one for SEO, and I'll keep it at post, and I'll do video. So let me just show you what the website looks right now before I run it. So this is just a blank brand new install. And I'll process this. It literally takes a second to run. And now let me show you some of the pages. That's the this little thing that you just pop up. Once you activate yes, this pops up. Let me show you the pages. Alright, so about I'll view that. So there, there's my about page. Contact. There's my contact page with the form. 
and the privacy policy. And again, you know, I'll run this and I'll go back and through and I'll do some minor tweaks to about any context just so it looks different on all my PPNs. I'll show you the plugins just that they installed. So here they are, all activated, ready to go. Again, Spider Spanker isn't activated. I'll just activate it from here and then I'll go and enter my credentials. And then once I'm got my setup and everything looks good, the last thing I do is I deactivate Lightning WordPress and I delete it. So there's not a universal footprint. So this is how I use Lightning WP. It literally takes five seconds to get a PBN. Just need to enter my unique articles, kind of put a little polish on the top of it, and I'm ready to go.